Hey everybody, welcome. This is Chewy, and this is Cave Factory. So this is going to be kind of similar to um, Stone Block. Uh, some slight differences. Uh, you basically start with a mob spawner, and uh, you're given zombies to kill. Um, probably should have flipped that on until <laughs> we started going. But, um, what's great is, um, the mechanic for getting you materials, uh, is different than normal, right? And so, we're going to start from the beginning here and go from there. Um, so basically, when you, right, when you mine... A piece of stone uh, you have the chance of getting something else you don't necessarily have to um, or you're, you're not necessarily stuck with uh, a situation and so when you shift right click on any of the stones you get stone pebbles right? and so you could use like I would assume you could probably use a macro and make it so that it does it for you. Um, but generally speaking, you don't need to do that very often. All right. So this is nice to have some, uh, some starting gear here. Um, so getting wood is different here. To get wood, throw co cobblestone on the ground and wait 30 seconds. Cobblestone gives oak logs. Scoria cobble gives spruce. Gabbro cobble gives acacia. So not too, not too shabby of a way to to do trees. Now, I would say that this is in the beginning. It's uh, it gets the grind going quicker. It's not necessarily a difficult thing, um, but you know. It's not terrible either. Compacting drawers. So it looks like we just need to get one drawer once that completes. And we'll see that turn to uh, oak here any second. We could always do another stack of this little mechanic here. Really, to me, makes this a fun starting pack, right? I mean, it's much better than trying to sit there and grind away. Although the cobble is easy in, in Stone Factory, you just mine it, you know. Then they But they added, like, chickens, resource chickens and things like that to generate the resources instead, which isn't bad either. But, all right, so let's go get ourselves some wood here. All right, and so... Okay, let's make our chest. Um, and there's our first drawer. All right, so we got this one and our drawers. Throw that one there. Um, so what's next? Tinkers. Patterns are sticks. Whoops. Come on. Looks like we're freezing up here a little bit. There we go. Grab that reward. All right, so now the part builder is planks and patterns. So we'll turn those into logs. And we'll 
get going on some more. Cobblestone. So the idea here is that you need to get into tinkers because the, the vanilla tools just break almost instantly when you use them, right? So we have to start using the tinkers tools as soon as possible. All right. And so I think, all right, we'll see in a minute here. All right, so we got that. So we need stone pickaxe and stone tool binding. Whoops. Uh, in order to do that, we need a tinker station. All right, so that's four planks and three patterns. All right. That's nice. And so we get a axe head with that. So now we need a stone pickaxe. Hmm. All right, so we need binding and a pickaxe head. All right, so that gave us, oh, we haven't hit the uh, pick yet. So we could do There we go. So let's get that reward, which is nice, a diamond. All right. Um, so what we can do is that takes our durability up to 300 from 130. So that's probably why they give you the diamond for that first one. All right, so a small blade. Um, so we can do two tool handles. All right, so we can make our sword. Oops. And then our axe would be the axe that we already have. It's so another tool handle, another binding. Tool handle, binding. And then, there we go. Uh, and what else? Uh, we can make the medic later. I don't think we need to do, to do that right now. But, um, so this does make it easier, right? So you can see right there we're getting all kinds of different materials from when we mine. All right, so it is kind of a, a pain when you have to do that. Um, when you have an ore that needs to be broken down further, it's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit inconvenient. But not terribly, all right? And so, whoops. And what's nice is when you've got, uh, right off the rip, a diamond level pick, I mean, there's pretty much nothing you can't, nothing you're not going to be able to wind up with in the end, right? So all of this material eventually will hit a, will get um, diamond and emerald. Looks like we got some of that already. And so what's nice is, you know, you have, even though you're mining stone for the first part, but you already have a diamond level pickaxe that can actually um, break just about anything you need. Diamonds, emeralds, uh, obsidian. And so that makes it pretty convenient, right? And so let's... I 
think what I want to do first is kind of get a feel for what's most common. And it seems to be already that it's coal. <laughs> um, there's another diamond. That's good. So we can make the axe and or the stone sword uh, more durable with the diamond. We can actually put, uh, I think there's two modifiers on this axe already. So we could do So that goes up from 104 to 604. So that is 114, 664. All right. Now, the pick can also be the emerald makes it even more durable. Um, and I still have one upgrade plus an ability slot available for that. So this, uh, and the super nice thing is. It's still a, a stone pick, right? So cobblestone repairs the pick, which is awesome. And it just makes for an easier, you know. And once we get redstone, I can add it. I, I think my third upgrade for this pick I'm going to do, there's some redstone right there. I think I'm going to actually put speed on it or haste, whatever, I forget whatever Tinkers calls uh, the redstone. And that should give me, that should make the pick faster. And this is pretty nice to get going in the beginning. Um, there is a, I think there's a dank null or dev null. Um, wouldn't, might be worth looking into. I think I can get that early enough. All right, so the first level is coal in a barrel. Barrel's easy enough. Uh, the next one is redstone blocks. Woo! Boy, these... So it's all blocks? Okay. So your recipes, you're going to have to... Oh, man. That's 81 diamonds, 81 emeralds, 81 gold, 81 redstone. That's a lot. But it's doable, right? I mean, it's not impossible. So let's go ahead and break down some of the... Some of the, the ore that needs to be broken down further. Be nice to have luck at some point in fortune um, okay so one gold oh so there is no breaking whoops there is no breaking down of that stuff all right so we get four iron we get our one gold and our copper and then we'll spread out this the redstone So our mining speed goes from 5 to 944. So it literally almost doubles. Excellent. That makes it much more convenient. We get our iron. Gold. Let's see what other quests we have. All right. We got our coal. Ooh, now we got a stack of it. Noise. Um, all right. So we need planks. I think they're there. Yep, there's a barrel. Oh, that's tiny coal. Okay. Um, can I convert this back to full coal? Nope. Um, bah, 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 bah. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to mine a little more. And get us some coal. So 
But yeah, this is, you know, it's kind of nice. I mean, you've got to, you've got to mine out to have a, a nicer looking place on the inside anyway. So, um, while you're doing that, you're getting new material. Um, I think I'm going to make some traditional chests as well. Or no, actually I'll make another barrel. I think. So let's get rid of most of this. Um, where's the coal? Oh, down here. <laughs> All right. So this is only one part, so it's going to be it's going to take a bit to get that other coal. But you know, honestly, not any more, not any more so than others. So. It's kind of painful having to use the redstone, use 40 some redstone on the haste, but it does make it faster to get into the other, the other levels. So, um, the dank will help. So we got to figure out too what, you know, what's most prevalent here and, you know, because the beginning level of dank null is not very big. It's, I think it's only one row. There's our first one. All right, and so we're gonna pick up. Pick up all. Um, so we get a few slots, but not enough. Um, not quite enough anyway. Diamond. Um, and then once that's done, you know what? Let me make. I'm gonna make a second furnace. That'll make things a little easier. Oops. Um, and then I will split the tiny coal. Between them, all right, that's nice. Uh, I don't actually, I, I don't want the the redstone in there. I want the ores to go in there because there's a few. So yeah, I mean not the not the most exciting thing so far, but we are getting where we need to be. Um, the quest line, uh, pretty well driven in the beginning. You know, it's a well thought out pack, or it's well thought out quest at least. And I think the pack is well thought out also. Um, I, I like the mods that are in here so far. Um, I definitely like this mechanic of random ore. Um, if there's like a miner or a quarry in here, that'll be super. So you can see the redstone which is our next level of dank null is that's going to be pretty easy to enter to ascertain um, but the next level is when it gets to diamond and emerald you can see that the, the ratio of redstone to those is is way more so it looks like you're going to get to two tier you're going to get to the second 
pretty easily get to the second tier of it, but it's going to stall there until you get a bunch more. And so I think what I'm going to do here is once I get to a certain point, uh, I'm going to kind of carve out rooms to the side off this first hallway. And then eventually I'll move, I'll kind of, whoops. Um, all right, so granite cobblestone's a little bit more prevalent. Um, scoria. Okay. I mean, that's not very scientific, of course, but... The other thing is, actually, I think what I'll do is I'll just get another base level one. Because I've got enough coal here. At least I think I do. Yep, I do. All right, so two, three. Oop. Need those two. So we'll now have a second dank. Oh, and we get a magnet. Noise. Uh, does it have to turn it on? Right click it. Perfect. And then we'll tell this to pick up all. So let me do, I guess I'm going to do some nine by nine rooms. Two, three, four. Five. Okay. So we'll go in. Okay, so four over this way. I do that right? One, two, three, four. Yep. That's two, three, four. Okay. All right. And let's go to this side. Yeah, we're okay here. All right, so one, one layer in, two, three, four. Um, so this is nice. I like this a lot. So basically, we're we're collecting resources as we're actually clearing space out for what we're gonna do, right? So that's pretty nice. All right. Um, so I'm going to need to go eight further here. One, two, three, four. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. There we go. And so four over this way. Perfect. This is done. We'll have the outline of the nine by nine. Um, there we go. Now I just got to clean it out. Um, so we can look at. Um, I need to look at. You know what? What are the other? I guess areas of development. 
you know, this is obviously the beginning and it's the beginning of the automation area. Um, I mean, I would consider it resource gathering first, but so I'm not a huge fan of create. I don't know that if create is in this, uh, but I do see zinc. So I'm suspecting that there is, but you know, it may be that we have to, I may have to bear down and actually learn how to use it. Um, but I don't think we need it quite yet. We'll see as we go. I want to kind of keep an eye on time also. I don't want these to be hour and a half videos. Um, there we go. So our first 9 by 9 and let's see what we got for materials. All right. Looks like we probably need one more. Um So let's grab these. And I love that this um, I can just take a, a half a stack of cobble and throw it in there for repair. So that used 11 stone, 11 cobblestone to completely repair the pick. That's not bad at all. So. Um, I think that will probably cover most of what we need. Uh, it'll pick up most everything. Um, all right, so that was iron. Uh, that wasn't anything yet. There we go. Okay, so let's see where the redstone is. And there we go. There we go. Okay. So we probably should be getting close to being able to upgrade one of them. I mean, I guess I only need a little bit more for that. So uh, we're right at about 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I think it's a pretty good start for where we are um, with things. I'm going to try and fill up what I have here. Um, I actually don't want that. Uh, yeah, I don't want uh, items like that. Um, which one grab that? That one.
Yeah. I think that's a good place to stop. Uh, I think we did get a, a good start on our uh, on our beginning quest line. Um, so we've got a blood uh, blood altar, blood magic next, or you've got the create area down here. Um, this is nice because it gets you, you know, kind of a. It gives you a choice, right? You can go the blood magic route, or you can do you know, the create route. I mean, they all eventually have to get done and eventually it works out to getting into tinkers. So making grout and stuff like that. Using create, make an automated, automatic farm producing kelp, dried kelp, dried kelp blocks and belts. Okay. Automatic core processing system with crushing, washing and compacting nuggets into ingots and products sorted into correct chest drawers. Okay. So these look like they're additional automate wither killing. Wow, on that first level? Make a chocolate river lake. <laughs> okay. Um, road to better tools. Uh, seared stone. So we just cook seared cobblestone. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's a good place to stop. Uh, I think we're in good shape. All right, so that's 15, that's 18 gold so far, so that's only two stacks. So it's going to be a while before we upgrade that one. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully this uh, this is enjoyable. It's a little bit of a departure from Project Architect and EMC, the Project E, but um, I'm kind of digging it so far, and I like the the advancement system. So thanks for watching. If you liked, to, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. So thanks for watching.